You're such an asshole. Assholeconsulting.com. Go there if you have questions and you want the truth, not stuff that makes you feel good. Hey, asshole. I spent a few hours every night listening to you spit real truth on college degrees and how fraudulent and time slash money consuming they are. Also exposing the real bullshit degrees like the liberal arts. In my situation, I'm currently in, a, in an associates of arts program at my college, specifically the media and communication studies option. And I'm pursuing this shit so I can have a valid degree for the type of career I want to have, which is being a writer or a columnist for the NBA at a sports network up here in Canada. Oh, Canada. Uh... And then you provide the link, and I'm not even going to bother with it because I already have my answer. I have to take either one of these bullshit courses for credit towards earning my degree, but those courses aren't going to help me at all. I admire what you always said about the worthless degrees and useless courses that are BS. I took your advice to heart on the other request videos and seeing how STEM degrees are the only suitable degrees. Can't quit this degree and give up on my dream career, so what can I do? Thanks. All right. <clears throat> you are going to quit this program because it's bullshit. Look, dude, if you want to... Watch my video, Your Dreams Are Stupid, because your dream is stupid. I want to go right for the NBA. Oh, I'd like to be a Fredericks of Hollywood uh, lingerie model fucker. I'd like to be a Lafroig uh, scotch ta tester taster. I'd like to be a sunbather tester. You, that's, not a, that's not a career. That, that, I, it's amazing you've listened to my videos, and then you come up with this poppycock high in the sky bullshit uh, uh, type of thing. You want to become an NBA sports, you know what? Everybody does. And you going and getting a degree is not going to help you. All right? Now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you what you're really going to do. And then I'm going to tell you how you can actually go and become an NBA sports writer if you want. All right? First, you need to come up with a real degree. All right? This associates in media arts is not it. All right? Uh, it is not. It is not. You are wasting your time. Stop it right the fuck now. And if you don't know what to do, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. It's perfectly okay to not have, oh my God, I got you now. I got engineering. Uh, medicine. What you need to do is figure out some other career. It's going to take some time. Maybe buy the book Reconnaissance, read through it, go drive around, hang out in Banff and Jasper, become a ski bum. Do something, work some job, enjoy your time, build up some cash in the meantime, live at home with your parents if you must, but you are going to get out of that program right the fuck now, okay? Then, after it could take you two years to figure it out, but what you're going to do at night is you're going to spend time at night researching real professions with real paychecks attached to them, right? Accounting, STEM, you know the drill, you know it. If you don't know whether, go buy the book Worthless and read through that. But I think you know the field in the, in the realm of degrees that are going to pay off, okay? And somewhere in there, in the compensated degrees, could be trades, could be the Canadian military. You know, they'll put you on one of the three frigates uh, while we cover your asses. <laughs> Trudeau's a pussy. <laughs> well, it, it's our purpose. It's not like, you know, not like you guys had, like, a military to begin with. But, continuing on... Uh, you're going to spend at least an hour a night researching different types of careers and professions. You maybe go and volunteer, try this, go volunteer, try that, look into the union, something. And then over the course of time, if you put the dedicated work into it, you are going to find a real career. Now, at the same time, and here's the good news, starting tonight, tonight, you are going to have your dream job. You're going to become an MBA sports writer. You are. Because here's the thing about media, Okay. You, there's no career anymore, paid career in media anymore, unless you are self-employed. If you look at the highest compensated media personalities and writers, they are bloggers and podcasters and YouTubers. They're kind of like me, right? I don't work for anybody. I'm not going to go work. If you look, and for people who do work, take a look at Salon, XO Jane, the Huffington Post, um... Rebel Media, even the conservative sites, if you look at it, those people aren't paid. I love it when Huffington Post comes out, look at our new batch of writers. That's all these 22-year-old, 23-year-old girls who are there. All empowered in it, they're not paid. And the reason why is because the writing, blogging, neo-media world is a hobby and it's fun to do. 
and people are doing just as good a job as the old media journalists used to do for free. The NBA is not going to hire you. They're not going to pay you. And if they do hire you, it's going to be on a volunteer basis. There is no money in it. So what you might as well do, and if you're serious about this, <clears throat> you think you are that good of a writer and you got some insights that nobody else has. You start a blog tonight, start a podcast or a YouTube channel. No, you should start all three. And you just go to town. You start your own, you know, make up your name, come up with a catchy phrase, get the URL or get the, the WordPress or the Blogspot uh, domain. And you just start writing. And like I did 12, 14 years ago, I start writing about economics. And in about seven to eight years time, if you're reliable, if you're regular, if you're consistent and you write good quality shit, at the same time it'll take you to get a PhD, you should have enough of a fan and following uh, that you could live off of it. And for seven to eight years to be able to do what you want, that is a very little investment. That's very, now it's going to be hard. It's going to, you got to be consistent. But I, nah, I can't guarantee you. It, it could happen in two years if you're really good. It might have to happen in 10 because you're not as consistent. But that is how you're going to get your dream job. Is you do it as a religious hobby now on the side. And in the meantime, you join the rest of us adults. I'm sorry, was your daddy prime minister like Justin's was? No? You mean you don't come for money? Well, guess what, motherfucker? You're going to work a real job just like us real men and women with pubic hair. Unlike your prepubescent uh, shiny pony girl that you have as a prime minister now. Uh, that, that's it. That's the real world. This isn't me being a dick. I'm just telling you the real. Get the fuck out of that program. Stop wasting your time. Save your money. If you have to, that's fine. Live at home, whatever. But you, this, this degree, this associate's degree, is not going to help you land a job. It's not. And if it does get you a job, it's going to be shit pay. Because for every one of you that wants to get paid, there's a score of people that will do it for free. Right? This is, and if you don't believe, here's another thing you could do. Go look up the profile of any one of these cool, with it, in the know, New York women's magazine writers. Online or not. Look them up. Usually, 9 out of 10 times, they're relying on mommy's money, relying on daddy's money, or they're relying on hubby's money. And they are not making it. And they may have 10, 20, 30,000 Twitter followers or whatever. They may be even bigger than me. But they are not making the money to survive there. They, they, th it, the money just isn't there. God bless the internet. It destroyed the mainstream media. Thank God. And any idiot stupid enough to go in there and regurgitate the same leftist slop, or in your case, the same, who do you think is a better quarterback? Bart Starr or Brett Favre? Oh, I think they're... All right, so here's the good news. You can start doing your dream job now. You can. It won't pay, but even if you went and got your master's degree in media arts, it still wouldn't pay. So instead of pissing away the next four to six years of your life on a degree that's not going to pay, why don't you take the time, sit down, think things through, and dedicate that time to a career that will pay in the daytime, and then you can go ahead and become a sports writer today, tonight, on the side, though. And you keep dedicating yourself to it, dedicating yourself to it, and then over time, I'd say five to eight years, five to ten years, all of a sudden you have enough following, you won't need your daytime job. But trust you, you, you the only way, to, the only way by the time you're 30 that you're going to be in an enviable position is you work a real job during the daytime. So I don't know what that is. It could be accounting, engineer, whatever. We've talked about it before, but that's what you're going to do. If you don't want to know what, that's fine. Read Reconnaissance Man. Get that. That's why I wrote the book. That book should be number one. All my books should be number one. But that one in particular because I don't know what kid who's 19 or 20 knows exactly what they want to do. I, I always wanted to be a teacher. So I want to be a teacher. All right. Hope that helped out. If you guys got questions and need your older brother to yell at you, go to assholeconsulting.com. If you want lies, you can hire a regular consultant. If you want truth, you come hire me. We'll see you kids later. Toodles.